Thanks for watching Jake 3D. Today, I'm going to give an overview of my NAS build. This is my old gaming system right here. It makes up the base of the NAS. I originally got it in this old thermal take case. It no longer has a side panel because while well, I was troubleshooting or upgrading it or something, my wife ended up throwing the side panel away. So it's now kind of disgusting inside here. I actually traded a old MacBook I got for the computer here. So definitely better for me on that one there. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try using the, the motherboard tray inside here as part of the case for my test bench coming up in a future video. So I've already moved everything from the old case and into the new case, obviously, as you can see. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it under the desk connected to a UPS where it belongs as soon as I've updated my computer room or area right here. So the specs on the system is an AMD 3850 processor 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, a 650 watt thermal take power supply, and I've added in a graphics card, the RX, Radeon RX 570. Hopefully I can get it to work for mining. And there's a RAID card in here for the additional drives. Now speaking of drives, I have a 30 gigabyte SSD in here for the Windows VM. That's a virtual machine. I'm gonna use that virtual machine, hopefully to mine and definitely or when I hook up all my security cameras to this so that I can get it to work properly and offload onto the drives. I also have six NAS grade drives. There's four here and two here. They are four terabytes each. And these are NAS drives. NAS grade drives are designed to hold up to uh, the vibrations of many other drives in the same system or environment. At the same time, they're, they're normally used in 24 hour operation and they have multiple simultaneous accesses at the same time in a lot of cases whereas regular drives they're not designed to hold up to that kind of torture and environment or punishment originally i was going to run a separate vm for mining and a separate vm for the security cameras and have all that running in the background of the nas the however the built-in virtual machine that that comes with free nas couldn't get it to work properly because it doesn't have proper hardware pass through. So I tried several different options from Ubuntu with um, XEN, oh, that, that's Linux with a, with a hypervisor, uh, a virtual machine. And I've tried other hypervisors or virtual machines on the bare metal. None of those work properly. After like 15 or 20 different versions and different um, hypervisors and, and, and all that, I was not able to get it to work properly. A lot of that had to do with the motherboard. This particular motherboard doesn't support IO MMU pass-through. Uh, I was able to get it mostly working though with a, a Ubuntu installation with XEN for the hypervisor and FreeNAS running in a virtual machine. But then once I got that working properly, I wasn't able to get the mining software to run at the same time, uh, whether it be on the Ubuntu installation or on its own installation, I never got it to work properly. So because I was running multiple virtual machines and FreeNAS in a virtual machine, I decided to, to get rid of all that and go back to running FreeNAS on the bare metal. And I'm gonna try using the FreeNAS virtual machine for the security cameras, and hopefully I can get it to work. At least I should be able to get it to work with Windows on um, the FreeNAS virtual machine for the security cameras at the very least. The original RAID card I had didn't work quite right for me. It wasn't uh, giving me full view of itself inside the virtual machines or free NAS, and it also wasn't recognizing the full capacity of the drives. 
And that's because this is only designed for drives up to three terabytes. Anything over that and it starts limiting you or limiting it down to three terabytes. After updating the firmware through a specialized process that was actually very complicated, um, I was able to get it to view almost the full terabyte drive, but still it wasn't working properly and it wasn't communicating properly with the, uh, the virtual machines and free NAS and all that. So I ended up picking up a new uh, RAID card from Fry's. This one is a PCIe 3 and it's SATA 3, six gigabytes, where this one is running at uh, PCIe version two. And I believe it is also the SATA 2. So it's slower. Now, these drives aren't incredibly fast, so it probably wouldn't matter in speed. It's more the capacity and the compatibility with the virtual machines and all that. So I, that's why I ended up picking up this one. And it actually worked pretty much no problem. Most of the problems that I had were because of the motherboard, not those. I also picked up all red SATA cables for all the drives and a Molex to SATA power adapter. That's because I didn't have enough for all the drives with the SSD on this power supply, and it doesn't reach from this drive back here to the back of these drives back here. Just the cables aren't quite long enough. The new case is a Corsair Sniper Storm. It has a dust filter on the front, as well as over by the power supply. The fan controller controls the speed of the fans as well as the LEDs. It came with a couple 200 millimeter fans as well as a 120 millimeter fan. Both side panels have a large bulge, making cable management easier on the back here. Not that I made it look any good at all though. The side panel does support an additional 200 millimeter fan here, but this is gonna be against the wall. So I'm not gonna put a fan here. It also has plenty of airflow through the system. There's a 200 millimeter in, 120 millimeter in, power supply out and 200 millimeter up out. I do have additional fans, but they're not only not necessary, but these are slated for another build in the future. So I picked up the case, the SSD, and the original RAID card for my buddy Bryn. He's a boutique system builder. He runs Magitech Custom Computers down in Lakewood, Spanaway area. They do custom computers as well as uh, computer repair. So they can help you out if you're looking for a new system or you have a computer repair that you need. The reason that I chose this case in particular is because of it has plenty of hard drive space as well as room for a full-size graphics card without any interference. But this one didn't, definitely did not. And of course, it has the, large, the, the 200 millimeter fans, and I love my big fans. If you thought this was informative or liked it, go ahead and leave a like on this video. Also, go down in the comments, let me know what you think. Is there something you will or you would do differently on your own build? And are you excited to see a tutorial on how to set this up? Let me know down in the description. There's also down in the, the comments, there's also in the description links to where you can pick up products like these for your own build. If you haven't already, feel free to hit the subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching Jake 3D, and I will see you in the next one. Hey, what's up, dude?